Podcast. Welcome back. It's been about six months, but we are back with another video. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're kind of doing kind of mystery packs from TCG Exchange. I've seen a few other YouTubers do them. Um, Pokemon, for example, and they look really interesting. So I thought I'd come back, I'd do some. And yeah, let's get straight into them. And whilst we're doing them, I'll uh, explain a little bit about them and then what we're doing moving forward with the channel. So they come in another box uh, with a lovely little thank you note. And then they're in these. So a little bit about these. So this is obviously a little bit on their website about them. So they replicate booster packs, but you can get completely random cards from them, so from any set that's ever been out. Uh, one energy, one reverse hollow, and one guaranteed rare. It can include Wizards of the Coast cards, which would be interesting. Wouldn't mind it, wouldn't mind it at all. And then this is the other bit here. In fact, oh, we can you even see that, there we go. The uh, hit rate is 1 in 2.5, so every 3 packs should have at least a hollow rare card. So this is pretty good. Um, I think we ordered the 12 pack bundle down here. So I think we ordered 12 packs, we got 12 packs. So with that hit rate, is that 3, 6, yeah. we should get like 4 more hits. Um, obviously, some of these would be would be what we're looking for. That'd be amazing. But yeah, I'm really interested in them to see kind of what we get. We've got one out of the way for now. So we've opened one. I think they also because we've ordered uh, twelve. I think. Yeah, they can only fit like six in each one. So we'll get into this first six, and then um, I'll explain about you know. Why I've been away for six months, um, what hopefully we're going to do moving forward, and yes, yeah, some of the other stuff that's that's coming up. Um, if you like these and you want to try them out yourself, I'll leave a link to their website down below. But yeah, without further ado, I don't know why I've gone for the middle one. Let's just put them. Put them there. Now, this is pack number one. Okay, so we've got some inner sleeve at the back. So I guess, does that mean they've already done the pack trick with the energy being at the front? We've got the energy, Team Yal Tao, Pikachu from Hidden Fates, I believe. Poliwag from Evolutions. Diglett there from uh, Chilling Rain, I believe. Halo from Vivid, Thraki from Shining Fates, Blipsaw from Shining Fates, we've got a Wooloo from Golden Shield Base, I think that is. We've got a Toxicroak Reverse from yeah, Fusion Strike. Ooh! Duraludon Shiny from Shining Fates. Very nice. I don't even know if I I don't know if I have this either, so that's even it's even better. That's a great first pack. Shiny. Add that straight into the bind arm. I'm 90% sure I don't have that one as well. So it's even better. So that it the well, last one hit straight away. I suck at opening stuff like this. <laughs> That's now as bad at opening these as I am actual packs. So here we go, pack number two, we got my favourite energy, the lightning, with the ball guy. Ooh! And there you go. What's he card included? I thought that was a pony tip of base set as well though. Let's see if we there. We got a Rhyhorn. Jungle with a little nick on this corner. 
So yeah, obviously these are not like mint to near mint, but very nice to get a, a card that old. 99, I believe 1999, potentially 2000, but I'm pretty sure it's 99. Got Evolution's Ponyta, Psyduck, is that in face? Galarian Farfetch from Rebel Clash, Tynamo from Vivid Voltage, Extra Drill, Vivid Voltage, we got an Omnimite, I don't know what set that is. I think with it being on this side, it meet is, is it XY? Oh, Mew from Celebration. So they count. Um, I'm sure. I think Pokemon touched on this, but they count Celebrations Hollows as um, a regular card. We've got Stoutland Rare. Oh, do they count it as a reverse? Yeah, that's in the reverse slot. So they count that as a reverse slot. But yeah, we're doing well so far, you know, we got what we got sh shiny. A shiny that we didn't have as well, so that's very nice. We got and then we got a vintage. Ooh, saw something again. The steel energy, trubbish, cargo, team yell towel, we got a polywag, was earlier, very fruit. Sand slash? I haven't seen that one before. Ah, oh, it's a fusion strike. Yeah, I don't, I don't know from a lot of fusion strike. Crabby, Dialga. Hey, and it's a Raichu. Let's go. I think that's is that brilliant stars? Well, I should know that because that's a very recent one. I think it's brilliant stars that had the Raichu. It's either that or Astro Radiance, but I'm pretty sure it's Brilliant Stars. Yeah, we'll go Brilliant Stars. So whilst I open this one up, yeah, we're, we are back now. Um, let me do a couple of videos. Um, maybe like two or three a month. It won't, I won't be super, super posting loads, but I've got a lot of good ideas for what we can do coming up. So, you know, if you want to see what we've got coming up, drop a subscribe, you know, and oh, Yammer, 2009, that was an old pass card, I don't, I don't know when that's from, 2009, is that before, is that black and white, before black and white? I don't know, if anyone knows what set this, uh, this Yammer's from, uh, leave it down below, let me know. We have Cargo, a Cinderace B uh, from Fusion Strike. We've got what, three out of four hits so far. Ooh, gee. What does that mean? That we've, how many hits are we supposed to get? I think we're supposed to get four. We might have already used them all up. We might now have used them all up. <clears throat> we got Fighting Energy, Rusted Shield, Pikachu, Farfetch, Sincino. It's an old set as well. That's 2016. That's six years old now. Jesus. Krabby, Research, Diglett, Bliplug, Toxel, and Surfing Pikachu V. From celebrations there. Uh, uh, uh. Right, final one of this box. Ooh, we got sleeved again. Fire Skarmory from Sun and Moon, I think actually. Rock Roth. Gollet, Zubat, Scovet. Okay, what's that say? 2018. Some, some, some Skaters Park. Ooh! All that shiny Cinderace V. Very oh, nice. 
Does this mean we've got more hits than we're supposed to have got? I don't know. I feel like we've already got all the hits and we've still got this other one to go yet. So, uh, yeah, for those that don't know, the reason I've been away for so long is um, me and my partner had a lovely mini human and he's kept me very busy. I've changed jobs and stuff, so it's just been too hectic to film. Um, but yeah, we are back. I've got a lot of, lot of exciting things hopefully coming. Enjoying these to be fair, they are nice. They're, um, they're different than like something a bit different than opening just like I don't know some blisters from I don't know, whatever sets out at the moment. Yeah, uh, we've had well, we've had a we've had a card from Jungle. We've had a card from again, I don't know what set, but like 2009. So getting on, getting on a bit there. D. Orcoli. Oop, bat. Slowpoke. Marie. Yeah. Oh, again, Fusion Strike. I keep going like that. I've never seen these, but Fusion Strike. Ooh! We're still getting hit! A tight null. From Hidden Fates. Very nice. Hidden Fates, I think, is my favourite set of all time. I mean, it potentially wouldn't be if, like, I don't know, like, like Hot Gold Soul Silver. I love that set, but I own, like, three cards from that set, and I've never even opened a full pack. So, Red Hidden Fates, obviously. Amazing set. They did the reprint. Ah, my elbow. Oh, they did the reprint at, like, the perfect time. So, which, like, I actually got to open it. Which was nice. Right, let's start off with the Psychic Energy, we've got the Ball Guy, Pikachu, Luxio, Bunnelby, Bronzor, Clefairy, is that from base set? Can I do this without, yeah it is. 1999 base set Machop. It's in pretty good condition as well actually. Base set Machop. We got the Jiggly, Persian, oh that's Fusion Strike again, and an Inteleon from Chilling Rain, Hollow. Still getting hits, I thought we'd be dawn for hits. I'm sure we've got more than you're supposed to. I mean, I ain't complaining. Roma Lady, Applin, Tana, Horsey, Jinx, yeah, 2017, I don't know what that Jinx is from, that's a crazy artwork for a Jinx. Shuppet, School Bunny, Simmer Siege, Drill the Reverse from Vivid, and a Wishy Washy from Evolving Skies. I still have no idea why they made this little fish. Um, a rare. Like, surely if you're going to make it a rare, you'd at least do it as like the school form where it's actually a powerful Pokemon, I suppose. But you don't have to be like a powerful Pokemon to be a rare, but it normally is. Well, nowadays it is, anyway. Struggling with that one. Darkness Energy, Boost Shake, a Tang, Skitty, again that's slightly older 2018, is that Sun and Moon or XY maybe? Ooh. Is this hot? This might be Heart Gold Salt Silver actually, as soon as we just speak about it. I think this is. That's such good artwork, like they did it really well back in the day. Yeah, that's gorgeous. 
think that might be heart roll soul silver. Again, let me know what set both of them are from actually. Ruki, Banco. This Panko. <clears throat> I could not get this Panko forever. I even like two boosters and an ETB when this came out. And I didn't have this in normal or reverse hollow. It's a con. I didn't get it in two booster boxes. Mental. Again, that squirrel. I haven't seen that squirrel before. How happy he looks. Something from 2019. Thank God. So our sword and shield is starting in 2020, so it was sort of moon era, but very happy with the squirrel. Shut up! And a flapple from Evolving Skies. I love Flapple, by the way. I don't love Appling, but I think Flapple's really cool. And I don't like the other one. Is it Appleton's the other one? The one that literally just looks like an apple pie. Not a fan of that, but... Flapple! I can get behind Flapple. Okay. Second to last one, we got the Fire Energy, Beauty, Spinarak, Shinx, Houndor, Weedle, Ghastly, Kavana. Checking the year on that one, but it's a bit older. Kakuna. Bill's analysis from Hidden Face. So, the final one. Um, I was pretty impressed with them, yeah, I like them. I think it's a really good idea to, rather than just kind of like throwing away cards and stuff, make these like mystery packs where you can get, you can get interesting, you can get some very interesting stuff. You know, like this, this is actually one of my favourites. I have no idea when this is, like what set this is from or anything. I don't know what that letter is. 2009 Platinum kind of time, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. Um, obviously, like, sort of like mystery. It's sort of like a mystery. Not a mystery box, but it's like it's a mystery pack type thing. Here we go. Final one. Fighting energy. All the fighting energy. <laughs> Wrote um, Misty's Gym, Loudrip, Luxio, Thwacky, Fable, we got Lampet, the Magmar, Gavantula, uh, Vivid Voltage Reverse, and Electros from Vivid Voltage as well. We go through the polls. So, that's all the packs opened. Uh, these are my favourite pulls from it. So we got the best Pokemon that the company has ever made. Full Art Sense Scorch V. We got Duraludon Shiny from Shiny Fates. Titanol Shiny from Hidden Fates. We got Cinderace V from Fusion Strike. We got base set and a chop. So obviously like these ones don't class as pulls in the packs. These you can you just get these like as your commons and uncommons. I have seen people get rares and hollows from vintage sets as well, which is pretty unbelievable, but you know. I don't. That's mental, but yeah. So these are my, these are just in with the normal. They don't count as pulls, but we've got this gorgeous Sanshu card. Looking at the badge, it's it's half gold, half silver. This could be half gold, soul silver. I am not that good with um, logos. Obviously, the original Watsy ones, everybody knows, and all the modern ones, we I kind of know. But then, yeah. That's 2010. This Yanmos, I really like this Yanmo. Again, 2009, so it's just before this. I don't know what that is. Platinum, maybe. And um, Rhyhorn from Jungle. So, yeah, that was um, opening the X packs up.
Uh, we did 12. We got... Did we got five, five hits? Oh, no, we, I didn't put hollows in there. I think we got like six, six or seven. Six hits I think we got, which is pretty good. That's better than the... Um, that estimated hit rate, which is like one in two and a half. So we did like one in two, which is really good. Um, I think these, I think these make a really good gift. Um, you know, they're, they're very cheap as well. If you're getting just one, it's like one pound fifty. Um, you get the chance of getting vintage cards. So you've even got the chance of getting vintage hollow cards. Imagine if you did like one one pound fifty, and you got like a hollow pincer from jungle or something that'd be like mental so yeah i do think they're really good and um the the company in general really interests me obviously uk base which helps massively for us or for me because i'm uk based um they do sell seal stuff as well on there uh, i think if you go on the website right now there's a lot of the a lot of stuff to pre-order, the Pokemon Go Pokeballs, mini tins, the the what are they, pin collections with like Squirrel, Bulbasaur. There's some Lost Origin on there as well. Um, they do do mystery, bo mystery boxes as well. They do giveaways. Uh, so, you know, if you want to follow them for that sort of thing, you can, you can go on the website, you can follow them, you can see that they do. Oh yeah, they do mystery boxes. They do random boxes. I don't know what that is actually. I don't know. I'll look into that for next time. But they they do do they do random boxes as well as mystery boxes and X packs. And they are, I think, they they are at some point doing um, a service um, called Exchange of Bulk. So if like me, you have thousands and thousands and thousands of bulk cards just lying about from when you've opened booster boxes etc i think you can tr I, it's not open it's not available yet but again if you follow them you'll know when it becomes available um yeah so i think you can exchange it for points on their website and then you can use the points to buy stuff or to get pack such as these ones we've opened today but yeah that is all for this video like i said there's a lots of stuff coming soon uh massive plans i won't give you i'll give you a little hint I'll give you a little hint we've got a first we've got a video involving first edition cards coming up soon we've got uh hopefully some sort of like podcast type of thing i'm trying to work on doing behind the scenes and yeah hopefully loads more exciting projects <coughs> sorry my voice is gone um loads more exciting projects so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see what's coming next please do drop a subscribe whack a like on the video as well while you're at it and until next time i'll see you around